Leeds United Kingdom. And in breaking news, former Chancellor Rishi Sunak has won the Conservative Party leadership contest and will become the next Prime Minister. Mr Sunak secured the overwhelming support of MPs and will be installed as Prime Minister without a vote of the party membership. The exact timetable for him to formally take over from this trust as Prime Minister has yet to be set out. Penny Mordaunt, the only other candidate who formally declared a bid, pulled out of the race just minutes before the formal announcement um, today. In a statement posted on Twitter, she said, Rishi has my full support. To make it onto the ballot, Sunak and Mordaunt had to win the support of 100 MPs. Sunak easily crossed that threshold, but despite a last-minute push today, Mordaunt failed to reach that figure. Former Prime Minister Boris Johnson dropped out of the race yesterday despite claiming to privately have enough support. It marks a dramatic comeback for Sunak, who lost out to Liz Truss in the previous contest, which only ended last month. Rishi Sunak will be the youngest UK Prime Minister of modern times at the age of 42. He will also be the first ever UK Prime Minister to be of a non-white Asian background. Lib Dem leader Sir Ed Davey says the Conservatives have installed another out-of-touch Prime Minister, adding the only way to end the chaos is a general election now. Sunak declared his candidacy yesterday, citing the country's profound economic crisis. He pledged there will be integrity, professionalism and accountability at every level of the government I lead and I will work day in and day out to get the job done. Chairman of the 1922 Select Committee, Sir Graham Brady, confirmed Mr Sunak had addressed the Conservative Parliamentary Party at 2.30pm this afternoon in a comment committee room. He said that the new Tory leader spoke to MPs in committee room 14 earlier this afternoon. Miss Morden said Mr Sunak had her full support as she dropped out of the contest to become the next Prime Minister. She said these are unprecedented times. Despite the compressed timetable for the leadership contest, it is clear that colleagues feel we need certainty today. She also said they have taken this decision in good faith for the good of the country. Members should know that this proportion has been fairly and thoroughly tested by the agreed 1922 process. As a result, we have now chosen our next Prime Minister. Speaking following the announcement, London's Mayor Sadiq Khan said, Politics aside, I want to congratulate Rishi Sunak on making history today as Conservative leader and soon to be Prime Minister. Former Prime Minister David Cameron said on Twitter, huge congratulations Rishi Sunak on becoming Prime Minister to lead us through challenging times. I predicted a decade ago the Conservatives would select our first Brit Indian Prime Minister and proud today that comes to be. I wish Rishi the very best. He has my wholehearted support. Scottish First Minister Nicola Sturgeon has said the incoming Prime Minister's first act in the job should be calling a general election amid a horror show leadership contest. She said the governments of the UK should not be a revolving door where one party gets to choose who occupies number 10. Welsh First Minister Mark Drakeford congratulated Rishi Sunak by saying on Twitter, Shranga Fakhia Dai Rishi Sunak, the UK desperately needs a period of stability and cooperation to focus on the many challenges we face. He also hopes that they're able to work constructively together to support people through these difficult times in a way that his predecessors didn't allow. By the way, Shranga Fakhia Dai means congratulations in Welsh. Rishi Sunak recently told the country that it is the privilege of my life to serve the country he owes so much to. The incoming Prime Minister said he will work day in day out to help the British people as he vowed to build a better, more prosperous future for our children. Shortly before making his statement, Mr Sunak arrived to cheers and applause at the Conservative Party headquarters. He was first greeted by Conservative Party Chairman Jake Berry, as well as close ally and Treasury Select Committee Chairman Mel Stride and Tory MP Alex Chalk. He shook hands with and embraced MPs and waved at onlookers. The former Chancellor then went into the building with the MPs following behind him. We also now believe that His Majesty King Charles III will return to London today as it was revealed Rishi Sunak um, will be the UK's next Prime Minister. It is understood that the King will travel to London sometime today as previously planned from the private royal estate of Sandringham. We also now understand that the King will not be able to accept Liz Truss's resignation or appoint her successor Rishi Sunak today and shall be done um, sometime tomorrow.
Victory for Rishi Sunak means the Tories are on to their third Prime Minister since they won the 2019 general election under Mr Johnson's leadership. Veteran Tory Sir Christopher Hope joins Labour in demanding a fresh general election, arguing it is the only solution for the next leader now the Conservative Party is ungovernable. The MP for Christchurch Dorset, which he held last time with a near 25,000 vote majority, said the best way they can get their respect is by winning a mandate with the people, and that's why I think a general election is essentially the only answer, otherwise we're just going to go from bad to worse. He continues on to say the party is ungovernable in the House of Commons and so we're going to have continuing rebellions as we try to change policies and so on. And so I must say I'm very pessimistic, I'm very angry and I feel that Boris has been let down once again and undermined by our parliamentary colleagues. That's the breaking news. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Please subscribe. And if there's any more breaking news, then we shall come back and tell you. But until then, see you on Halloween.